And we're live. This. What happened last week? Well, the naive was... adventurers vanish, venture into a space hulk. Yeah, we bought into space hulk for a vacation. A nice yeah. relaxing vacation. Mm -hmm. well, I was took a nap. Yes. Became an excellent source of... Uh... Cover. Like a crab puff sandbag. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and then we got attacked by three spicy boys. Who weren't surprisingly all that deadly. Because uh, Theodore and Garville got to uh, double team one of them. Wait. Name of the trait. Find out the good. I turned a spicy boy into a unicorn. He's there, by the way. Yes. Needle rifle. Yes. Yes. Well, fair enough then. Dispatched of those three quite handedly, and that was that. Hmm. I should also probably mention that we're on, um,. Theodore's, um, well, the the original hold uh, holder of the writ, uh, writ's son, his ship, which is a battleship type thing, something tiny. Yeah, well, love, love, teeny, teeny, tiny. Yeah, just yeah. a small battleship. Just, just small battleship. Which you could probably land our ship in one of it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um. We've got a few days of the way before it disappears and... Do you? Oh, I don't know. Potentially. Potentially a few days. Or a long time to wait for it to reappear again. Yeah. Alone in the war. Sure, a friendly G GM wouldn't do that. Would I? <laughs> Uh, no comment. I mean, I feel like it's something I absolutely would do if I gave you enough warning that it was going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, uh, you just killed three uh, blood letters after uh, shooting some weirdly stasis deed up. Cultists, I guess. That's weird. What's the plan? Onwards and upwards. Or forwards. Yeah, I believe the plan was to get to the bridge. That's about right. Indeed. Would oh. certainly have. Also, really, I, th I feel like I'm really getting the hang of Dungeon Pender. Tile set's a bit limited, but I think it, I think it produces the right effect. Well, Kill Slim knows the way. Or Lucius, I should say. He actually doesn't, but yes. Oh, doesn't he? Sorry, no. I thought you did. He, he, he kept, he kept the, the computer attempted to keep inv infecting him with, like, war beds every time oh, he yeah, plugged yeah. in, so. Not the war beds. Could Garville use any kind of Imperial Navy skill to try and get a sense of which direction to go in. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, uh, you look in the walls and there's a lovely sign that says bridge this way. It's that way! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, uh, some of the scribbling, scrollings and signs and whatnot are obviously in the specific like, uh, ship dialects, um, but apparently the Constantine family has had a similar enough one it's obviously evolved a little tiny bit over a uh, few hundred years of use, but uh, you get the general gist of it. Okay. Being high gothic, otherwise... Uh, yeah, I mean... High gothic, I say it Currently, I don't have... Indeed. You're fitting out a little bit in the end of your uh, sense, isn't that? When you're getting a bit... When, when your voice is going a little bit. So, which way do I know the bridge to be, then? Uh... 
on down this big, big old corridor. Okay. That corridor to the right, Bellas. That one that's not at all ominous. Yes, yes. that's the one. Um, Theodore, just before we go anywhere, I have a really bad feeling about this place. We all do. There was just some blood letters. <laughs> some blood letters. Yeah, y- yes, but an even worse feeling than that. Just saying worse for a feeling than that. Oh, welcome. I'm sure it's fine. Been abandoned for centuries. It could possibly be in here. Been abandoned for centuries. Nothing could survive in the warp. Except for warp fuckery. And even after those blood letters have been killed, that feeling is still very much still there. Uh, I need to stop this. Extremely sceptical at this attempt at reassurance, or possibly it's just indigestion. You don't know which. Judging by his expression. Yeah, have we got some like smelling salts or something for mouse? Rouse him. Oh, he's actually up now, I think. Oh, right. Forward and onward. Did we did we figure out what was behind door number two? Off of the hangar? I know you didn't actually. Whatever's behind there is the most likely thing to cut off our only means of escape. Okay, give me t- give me two seconds. I want to try and figure out why uh, your to- like some tokens are showing uh, health bars and some aren't. Uh... You dragged him out of the right. Yeah, I think it's to do. I think it's, I think it's like to do with ownership. There's nothing down this way, no. Oh, I know. I, I know how to fix it. Now. Yeah, sorry. Same. Corridor. Which corridor? Sorry. The one that we're down. Oh, the big, big old long one. No, the, no, the one, one, one to the south. Oh no, no, that's just like a little dead end. Yeah, don't worry about that. So, yeah. Uh, I know this is a big, long, empty corridor, so if leave the a school there. Corridor? Yep. Ha ha, fix the problem. Check on the... the door at the top? Yep. Okay. Is this kind of Remember, a head cutter or um I'll be all remind that there is a time limit on this, so going a way that isn't towards the bridge is taking up time. Yeah, but we kinda of need the ship to survive. Okay, I guess Lucy's trying to open this door. Okay. Uh, control panel sort of thing, yeah, yeah. Oh, there is one, yeah, okay, he'll try and interface with it. Yeah, okay. Uh, can I have a toughness check at a plus 10? If it does go away, we also have, um, another decade to do it, so... Uh, cool, when you try and interface with it, there's a rather, uh, nasty shock off the system. Machine Spirit is, uh, not happy with you communicating with it. Or attempting to interface with it in this case. Uh, you do. Oh, well, with that time check, obviously, uh, you can largely ignore it. And I'll take a, a standard tech use test, or auto pass in your case. And uh, you can open the door if you wish. Yes, I will. Okay. The door, uh, rip a pistol and. Cool. Door. So the door opens, and the place instantly starts decompressing. Uh, oh, there's the door, the, the there's, there's, the there's about two meters of catwalk, and then it, it's it's the, the next the next section's completely void. Yeah. We've all got our void suits on still, though, right? Yeah. I hope so. 
Well, we never specified we took them off, so... Yep, yep also correct. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit, oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, Lucy, yeah, Lucy uh, hurriedly goes back to the control panel to try and close it. In my walking bin bag of a suit, because it's all baggy. Yeah. Oh, baggy. Build that. Here. Baggins. That was a valuable use of our time. <laughs> I'm not glad. I thought he was going to go for that like first. I wasn't expecting that to be a detour. Yeah. That's safe and sorry. Also, what's hilarious is the server skull's got a larger icon than uh, Big B. <laughs> Can I use it as a man? I think that's accurate to size. Oh. But it's it's, it's just manic. awkward to work with now. Yeah. Who would strap them to your feet? Strap two to your feet. Same size. Okay. Um. Uh, Jerry, give me the same test as I asked you to do before for me. Okay. Uh, Lucy's just going to try and use the specs on server scout. So, uh, see if there's anything living through the door. Uh, oh, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you forgot about that, didn't you? No, 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 not that. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, the specs uh, doesn't detect any like heat heat signatures on the other side of the door. Um, there does a, it is picking up like erratic energy signals though. Um, maybe try and do this one quietly. The uh, feeling is a bit stronger. Indeed, I will ask the doors to be quiet. This is going to try and. Uh, Just going to take a few doors. more steps back. Is there a control panel or is this a physical thing? A control panel for this one. It's interior. It's been a little bit shielded. Okay. Uh, yeah, he'll interface with this one, same as the others. Okay. Um, same type of test. Okay. And uh, tech use. Okay, it's an auto open, isn't it? Yeah, fair enough. Well, it's not a high security door, so yeah, it, it literally flies back through the corridor. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that doesn't. <laughs> uh, does not step forwards as the door opens. Instead, his server scout sort of moves forwards and checks either way. Probably, probably a wise call on that one. Um, I'm going to do a quick dice roll. Four, five. Okay. Let the surface go. Uh, through the server skull, you see this. And uh, this guy here uh, must have heard something with that lovely 12 and uh, turns around and starts looking directly at the server skull. Are they just like spinning around with giant glow sticks? Yeah, the uh, like sort of r ritual circle of blood uh, appears to have three sort of half charred corpses in the middle, uh, and the whole thing seems to be built up of warp fire. Um, is which direction is uh, aft? Is it south? Yes. South is aft. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, north is aft in this case. You've. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, it's a bit weird. Front front is down. Okay, so uh, Lucy would stay on the box. <coughs> Excuse me, one sec. Lucy would stay on the box. Uh, afterwards, we have uh, a ritual and one conscious uh, cultist. He is aware of us. That you can see. Yes. Want me to shoot him in the head? 
I'd say we need to stop the ritual if if that's what we know they're doing. What's the service call? See the uh, uh, bowards, if that's a word. Oh shit! Sorry. Uh, no, the door. Uh, okay. Oop. Um. Right. Let's. Um. Grenade first. Ask questions later. I poke my head around the corner and shoot him. Or poke around the corner, not just my head. User in your channel timed out. Please. I'm not sure if I want to use grenades in like a location like User this with all your, your uh, super uh, oh, squishy then. suits. Okay, uh, uh, so Lucy's gonna. Uh, very nonchalantly march around the corner and he's just immediately going to start firing at this one dude. Yeah. Does that field view maybe a bit narrow? Uh, uh, Gabriel, sorry, do you want to go first? Oh. Uh, yeah, please. I'm going to need to expand the reveal and I've got this here, sorry. When you're done, I'll immediately follow. Just tell me when, Phil. I do have the underbarrel grenade launcher on my ripper gun, just pointing that out. We're internal now, aren't we, sir? So. That's about right. Yep. Ooh. Oh! Uh, uh -uh. <laughs> oh, that's exactly what I was hoping for. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> that's a big chunky boy. Mouse! <laughs> Ooh, okay. Don't rip his arm off, you've got some new armour. <laughs> uh, I don't think any of us would really know what an Astartes is, would we? Um, they're well, not, we did. They're all. not like common knowledge. Even though they're, you know, they are the poster boys of 40k, but they're supposed to be kind of secret, right? Somewhat. I think. Especially uh, one, one like this, yeah. Let's reveal the whole room, why not? I think a rogue trader would know. Yeah, it feels yeah. Uh, I mean, who's got relevant uh, forbidden knowledge? I have backwater planet, but you know, it might not necessarily know. Common this law, is... uh, Coronus Expanse, War, Machine Cult is the only one so that seem mm. appropriate. Archaic. Forbidden Law, Alt Archaic and Forbidden Law add Mechanicus. I've mm. got Forbidden Law Demonology. I've got Common Law War and Scholastic Law Tactica Imperialis. Um, I'll sure take anyone with the Forbidden Law War, I'll take minus 20s. Uh, and for Jericus with his forbidden lore, what we say it was again? Uh, demonology. Demonology. Um, I'll take a flat roll. Okay. Got common lore Imperium and <sighs> common lore wars, ballistic war, tactical imperial Alice. Say for for in lore war, I'll take a minus twenty because you what know. About, sorry, what about imperial navy? Hmm, I'll take that at minus twenty as well. I think. Okay. Well, it's got for forbidden law psychers, but I don't think that would uh, apply. I have a former singer. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, with those rolls. Um, before you all, you see a hulking mass of armor and uh, sort of demonic warp, uh, made, made out of demonic warp looking metal. He's all slight, ever so slightly deformed and charred looking. Yeah, uh, it looks rather angry. And, you know, parts of it look like it could be literally made of like massive sections of congealed metallic blood. And yes, looks rather angry. Uh, holding a. Oh, a massive bolt pistol, it's already sized, of course, and a chainsword. Uh, so, Kilsim, you're ta you taking a crack shot at this guy? Yes. Okay. Um, I'll give you a surprise attack on that, and then we're all initiative. Uh, quickly, does he relay this information to us? Um, he can relay it after he takes the shot. Okay. Because he's he's basically he's going around to shoot oh, no, this guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I asked. 
Nice. Do I need to roll damage that many more times? Uh, give me a... Oh, oh hang on. Is that fl oh, fl you flodded him? Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, dead. That's fine. Yikes. Uh, so yeah, f fucking... Goth squelch. Uh, <laughs> spider around the corner and bugs him alone, this guy to death. Uh, with your pulse rifle. Uh... I really, really weak. That's fine. <clears throat> okay, so if uh, Lucius is able to speak now as a free action, yes. um, like it, it, it would sound uh, surprisingly panicked, <coughs> which is quite abnormal for him. Um, you'd say, oh, there's more of them, and uh, something else, armoured. The Silver Skull didn't see this. Better surface. Uh, as always, I'll just move these guys in groups. And you know, this it might be a first time ever, Phil. What's that? One D ten plus agility bonus. Ah, <gasps> you remembered. <laughs> first time in how many sessions? Uh this is twenty four. Oh, shit, I Macros, yeah. Number, I? <laughs> pretty, pretty handy, yeah. <laughs> I just forgot to reset up, or like reset my macros for this campaign. I, I always use them, but keep forgetting what for this one. Did it? There you go. I, I could have sworn I put the them in. One person that we needed to a decent initiative. Um, everybody can add their own initiative into the turn order. By the way, I don't need to do that. Oh. Cool. I got perfect <laughs> when I actually rolled with the right fucking number. Good. Battling versus Space Marine, let's go. Uh, yeah, just yeah, for yeah. my out of char character um, nerd shit, um, what Legion is the Space Marine? Um, I hadn't really uh, looked into that, to be honest. Oh, you fucking lazy bastard, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What, 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 what with that colour scheme, what would you like him to be? Red and gold. I mean, it's... Uh, world world leaders? leaders? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Same thought. There we go. World leaders it is. I, I just said angry marines, but I don't know anything, so... <laughs> yeah, they're angry marines. Paint and bright yellow. Mine keeps going back to zero for some reason. Phil, I tried putting it in. That's right. I'll type it in and press enter and it just goes to zero. Oh, there you go. It's populated on my screen. Yes, I did it. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, I think that's everybody. It's going to be glorious. Okay, Big B. A weapon with zero penetration. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to do a little experiment. Uh... <coughs> it's never good when the GM says that. He wants to see if I can get a perfect roll and actually still damage the fucker. No, I want to see if I can set... I want to see what a virus grenade does to it. R. It nurgles him up, that's what it does. So if I do this... Oh, cool, you can see the health bar. Cool, there's a, I'll, I'll give you a health bar for it since, since it's a bit like a mini-boss. Oh no. That's quite a large health bar. That implies there's another one. Ha <laughs> Does it? A mini-boss means... <laughs> that a bo it implies that there's going to be a boss afterwards. Well, I mean, you're nowhere near the big loot, are you? Hold on, let me put the Doom music on, please. Have you heard that there's a leaked soundtrack from the new Doom Eternal? It sounds fucking amazing. Oh. The only thing they fear is you. Mm. Yes. Well, I'm pretty sure I saw I had a suggestion on my YouTube: Doom Guy versus Space Marine. <laughs> well, we need we need we need the Samsung voice assistant knockoff to take his turn. I'm gonna move behind Robocop. He's gonna provide you new armor. I piss dad. It makes me feel better. Fair enough. I'll I'll take that. Um, 
Wait, do I have line of sight on that guy? Just about. Yes, Phil? No. No? Okay. Uh, uh, either either the one's on the right, yes. The ones on the left are a bit squiffy, given how you position yourself. I'm going to hit him in the back. He's looking at you. As in, the guy at the back, not actually in the back. Right, okay. Can I half-action aim? You just moved, so you can't. You can half-action aim and have that set up for your next turn. Okay, I'll just shoot him then. Cool. Um, it's a plus 20. Yeah. Yep. I think. Yeah, it is. Awesome. Damage. Ah. Nice. Uh, it's the body, right? Yes. Nice. Cool. Uh, in that case, you see the uh, needle uh, deflect off it. Cool. Uh, this guy uh, is going to. Oh, yeah, that works. Uh, pull it like auto carbines and uh, listen to us and uh, take spray. Uh, yeah, realistically, it's going to shoot at Lucius. Water. The robot cool. It's still only like it's still only like one damage, so or still one thing. <laughs> Regardless of how much pen that is. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you, you you see this cultist like uh, sort of panic and sort of take like snap fire and spray towards the door. The only bullet that gets anywhere near anybody is like a glancing shot on Lucius. There's a small scuff on one of the freshly polished bits of. Uh, it's your chest plate that you have. Oh. <laughs> like, like firing a 32 at Iron Man. Basically. Orville. Uh, I've got my decided what to do. Uh. Ah, I can't decide what to do, Phil. Well, uh, pick something. <laughs> Um, Roll for it. Okay. Uh, how far can I move and shoot once? Not that. I was doing that. But... Then you can move into the corridor. Can I move something? Get line of sight on something. Don't line of sight in the thingy. Well, anything, literally. Oh yeah, I mean, if you move, just move generally in the corridor. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Right there. Yeah, that's fine. I love how he's on the line for the for the grenade that's on the way. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> the tactical so, blob it exists everywhere. Who you kind of see from there, Phil? Uh, you can see. Uh, I guess you can see blue boy and uh, red boy in the right. Okay. I'd honestly be less worried about the grenade than more worried about the mar the space marine with a chain sword. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Um, also, the Astartes bolt pistol is pretty fucking nasty. Fuck it, I'm just gonna sh I'm gonna shoot the space marine. Okay. Now I've moved. So how does the storm bolter work, Phil? I mean, you're firing a single shot. Right. Uh, no penalties are there, it's in range. Looking at that. Yeah, it's just a flat roll. Well, it, yeah, flat roll. Yeah, I've got no bonuses or anything, I don't think. But why do I foresee this going in the same direction as the Astartes videos on YouTube? We're all in a car narrow corridor with a space marine at the end. Nice. That's a squiff. It's a space yeah, marine's turn. 
I'm not going to take a use a fight point at this part. He's going to raise his bolt pistol and do a to a semi auto burst uh, back at Garville. Uh, that is one hit. Uh, try and dodge. By all means. Come on, lad. Okay, I'm going to keep the damage secret. Um, should oh, I? Fine. Does one know? No, should... no, no, keep a secret. Keep a secret. Keep a secret. Keep a yeah, secret. Keep a secret. <laughs> okay. Keep, this a, is. keep us safe. The effect of one of us turning into flying mint. <laughs> I'm going to die in one shot, aren't I? Uh, you're only going to lose your face again. It'll be fine. We all know your brains it's... in your fucking nether regions. But it's new. Okay, uh, Lucy's just going to fire everything at the uh, enormous armoured clad thing. Uh, so, full auto with the pulse rifle. Okay. Uh, it's plus 30 because of half range and full auto. Mm -hmm. Oof. Terrible roll. And he's going to fire his uh, Hellgun MIU as a free action because he can. Okay. That's only getting a plus ten. Oh no, I can follow it best it or whatever it's called. Yeah, follow it best. That's and I will not use my reaction to shoot my... Uh, that's pro that's right. probably wise. Yeah. Okay, and some total of all your damage is... There you go. Did you blink? Did you miss it? Oh, let, me put, let me put it back up. Pay attention? Yeah. Okay. That's expected. Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, red culties. Uh, this one is going to... Oh, you can't quite... Funny. Oh, okay. Fair enough. He can. He's going to uh, charge at Lucius. Ah, uh, okay. And uh, run straight through the, the circle, uh, completely unfazed. Oh, actually, really, these guys are a little bit He's big. Fucking big. Look at him. Yeah, hang on. There we go. That's a bit better. Donkey boys. I think that's a bit better size wise. I don't know why they were so big actually. Whatever. Yeah, I'll do. Been having their free workout. Okay, and straightforward little attack. Be pretty unimpressive, but. What weapons do these guys have? Oh, these they, they appear to just be knives. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, like short swords size. Knives, but they appear to be more ritualistic than useful. I was thinking more like kitchen knives, but okay. Yeah. Daggers. Jerkis. Um. Oh, sorry, those are the red boys. Uh, yeah, the other guy's gonna run up and join his buddy attacking Lucius. Uh... Also, yeah, both of them whiff, but they're th they're there. Is it a full action to Overwatch? Uh, yes. Okay, then I'm going to um, just going to full action move to there. Mm, and okay. that's that's uh, that's a run. 
Oh, no, sorry, that's full, uh, sorry that walk. sorry that's Theodore doing that. I can't tell. Yeah, full walk, full walk gets you anywhere around there. Yeah. Well, I was behind Theodore just then. Just then. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. In that case, yeah. I was uh, there. Cool. That works for me. Um. Yeah. Theodore. Uh, I'm just short dodge. Oh, Walk a full action. Okay. Like a full, full move, yeah, sure. Go for it. I wouldn't even be able to see him from there. Yeah, everybody's really neatly piled up in a line in the corridor. Okay, nice. Or do you need assurances that there's nothing around the corner to scare you? Pedro would encourage him around. <laughs> oh, you could do it. Crap, crap off in it for you. Pointy? Pointy? <sighs> Sorry, I was... They do about cat crab puffs. How did you know? Um... <laughs> yeah, you go. That's the problem with being last on the turn order. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just at the point where you're starting to zone out. Right, I'm going to move up and. Um... I'm still wielding my Ripper gun, so I'm going to move up next to this cultist and bash him with the. Um... Well, not so much bash him as stab him. Okay, works for me. That just uh, is there anything? Uh, on? plus ten. You're the only person currently engaged in melee combat, so no double team or anything. Nice. Uh, that's fourteen. That's body, I think. No, sorry. Uh, you're old. You're old fourteen. That's forty-one. And then that's body. You know this, yeah, right? yeah body. body. Yeah. Cool. Um, big critical body and. Uh, da, 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 da. Two seconds. Double check, because like all the like super creeps, like super super duper creeps usually have like extra effects. They're worth noting to augment the combat. Uh, Doom Eternal soundtrack on, and it's just awesome. Yeah, yeah it's I, great. It's just ended for me as well. Uh, the powerful bloke leads the target from uh, gullet to groin, revealing its internal organs and spilling them onto the ground before him. The target is not quite dead. Uh, the area and the target. Uh, around the target are washed with gore for the rest of the fight. Uh, anyone moving within four meters of the target's corpse must meet a flat agility test or fall prone. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so we've just got a grease trap. Basically, yeah. Cool. Nice. Wait, so we kill the cultists and retreat back. Within, within how far are the corpse? Uh, four meters? So that? Jesus Christ, four meters. <laughs> Fuck me! Uh, that was a... on, we're now basically in like a little slip and slide. I just realised, like from Theodore's and Jericho's position, there's just this huge red gore is just splattered all over the walls from around the corner. I feel, I feel After like the mouse running past. You have covered me in fucking blood, mate. 
I, f- I feel like there should be a, like there should in the rules be some sort of disadvantage to dodging any slippery surface. There probably is somewhere, but like fuck, I can I can be asked looking it up. Just, we can just keep it that way. down. It's fine. <laughs> I'd say just put one in now, uh, if you're in the red area, minus 10 to agility. <laughs> uh, I'll be nice. bad enough as it is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's the midget turn. Come on, squat, do some work. I mean, he can't fall down. Ah, I get an advantage. <laughs> Lower center of gravity, fuck you. I'm gonna shoot this guy in the head. Which guy in the head? This guy in the head? Sure. Uh, now I've got to remember what all the <laughs> modifiers are. Yeah, it'll be a plus 20. Yeah. Because remember, unless you're aiming, you don't get the accurate trait in. Which is weird because if you're specifically <laughs> say, because by specifically saying you're aiming at somebody's head, you would assume that's an aim action, but it's not actually an aim action. Hmm. It's just a might, might have to think about that one actually. Uh, roll damage. Oh, these guys don't actually have any head armor. Oh, nice. Uh, Turn them into an Oni. Uh, and he's real tough now. Uh, what? How difficult is tough success for that, by the way? Like, what's its toxic what quality? Five. Toxic Dota, then? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a fail. And then. Oh, nice. Uh, he, he literally dies from the poison. <laughs> <laughs> Step into my parlor. That Chaos Marine's not going to be happy with the quality of his cultist. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a new Doom Eternal train that's just been released right now. <coughs> I'll watch it later. <laughs> that cough. We're kind of playing our own game cool. of doom at the moment. Uh, this cultist is going to step in the middle of the circle and appears to be absorbing some sort of power. Arville. Oh. Uh, I take it my line of sight is blocked now to anything. Oh yeah, I mean you've got a Lucius here, you've got a mouse here. Yeah. We have to move up like beside mice. Okay. Uh... But we're aware that shots bounced off the guys in the centre, aren't we? Or are we? I know that was the last bubble, wasn't it? Don't know about this one. Okay, I'm going to step next to Mouse. So, do you want me to make an agility test first? Uh, please, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Step up next to mouse, and I'll fire at the first one that I can see that's alive. That was the one in the middle of the circle, uh, getting high and warp, yep. warp fire. But I've moved, so just a single shot. Yep. Nice. Uh, I was going to say, it's, it's got storms roll down a second time. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Let me give this guy a chance. Fair enough. Uh, you literally like mince him in the middle of the fire, and uh, his blood instantly turns like into like war bash. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, we'll do one more semi-auto burst uh, from the starty size bolt pistol. Really? 
I'm cranking up the difficulty, boys. Don't push him. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't push him. Just poke the bear. Yeah, you know that I get rerolls for things? There we go. So, Lysias, uh, you getting shots on uh, Connor for that? It's fair enough. Uh... You know what? I'm not going to use my reaction. Uh, fair enough. Even if that's two shots. Oh, it's two shots, is it? Yes. Okay, uh, I will try and dodge. Cool, you're dodging one of them. So you're going to love this. No, you're going to love this. Well, yeah. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> uh, that's five pen. Which body part? Uh, let's see. That is well, it passed on a thirty-eight, so that's eighty-three. That's a leg, I believe. Uh, that's your left leg. Left leg. Okay. Uh, so that's ten. Uh, it's just an extra die than a normal bolt pistol. Okay, so it's. Uh, I've got fifteen damage reduction, so five pen cancels that. So I take uh, 13 damage. Oh, hold on. Oh, is the force field going to save you? Oh, no, it didn't. No, fuck. <laughs> That's... So yeah, you guys hear the bump, bump, bump of uh, a bolt pistol, a rather large bolt pistol go off from inside the room, and uh, a couple sort of fly over Bigby's head and uh, one of the maximized to make contact with Lucius's channel. leg. Uh, I, with that amount of damage, I would say uh, taking a rather massive cosmetic chunk out of it. Lucius. Irritating that this cultist is doing his job. He hasn't hit you yet, so he's not yeah. coming up your combat. Yeah, he missed. Yeah, he's sort of like waving around your face, but he hasn't actually hit you yet. So, uh, as, as host rules dictate, you're not classed as in melee combat until you're hit. Okay. You can still use your pulse carbine if you wish, or pulse rifle if you wish. No, back I'm going to come back uh, around the corner. Uh, oh yeah, your legs make you immune to fall tests anyway, don't they? Yes, I cannot be knock prone. Um, that's fair enough, I'm not going to argue that's that. That's too much to be for a half action move, I think. Half walk is four. Uh, you could do about here. You can actually get okay, sweet. off the gunk if you wish. Yeah, whatever. Have enough? Is there any uh, bleeding from uh, from him? What do you mean? No, never mind. That's cool. Um, I don't think there's anything that I can actually do that's half action that's actually useful. I have obliterated that cultist with a bisect him with his spider legs. I mean, when you say you, you 
like to fire that for the rest of the round. If you think some of the end of the round, go for it, sort of thing, just for the sake of keeping things moving. Yeah, keeping things moving. Ah, uh, he's just gonna take out his melt again. That's his turn. Okay, that works for me. Uh, Rando Cultist is gonna go and try and attack the midget. And not enough room for a charge, so it's simply a half move and attack. Ability test. Oh right, yeah. Nice. I uh, he, he sort of moves forward and falls straight backwards on the on his arse. Derekis. Um. I see that je that cultist, right? Oh yeah. Uh. Late interview. Yeah, I'm just gonna shoot him. Cool. Uh, uh plus thirty since he's prone prone in the ground. Another ten for the range. If you want to do another, uh, if you want to do a half aim as well, you're shooting at a plus sixty. Uh, no, I'll do a semi auto. That works too. Uh, so um, plus ten, plus, plus fifty. Yeah, if you want. It's, um, it's, it works out at plus fifty. Let me just see what. Uh, oh yeah. Semi auto is ten. He's prone, which is thirty, and then it's under half range, so that's not. Really 10. Cool. Roll damage. Once more. Oh, you, you, that was your Digimon, by the way. So oh, shit. Was, that was... It doesn't matter. I'm not going to make you re-roll it. Um, I mean... I roll, do me a favor. I will get, well, you can keep the roll, but roll damage twice on your normal plasma. Or How many rolls is it? Uh, it's two. Is it two shots enemy? Yeah, in that case, roll damage yeah. twice on your normal one. Okay, pretty much um, exactly the same then. Fair enough. Yeah, uh, it's only got like the. I'll take it. I take. I can't. Uh. The plasma gun only has like uh, uh two more damage yeah. overall. No, normally they don't end. They don't even have the same auto. So yeah. Okay, that works for me. And. Ooh, like oh, that bit I like. If uh, blah blah. blah. Uh, in case of fire melting skin, popping eyes like super super heated eggs, falls to the ground, blackened corpse. In addition, if targets carrying any ammunition, there's a fifty percent chance it explodes, unless they can make a successful dodge test. All creatures within uh, one D twenty five meters take one D ten plus five explosive damage. Uh, if the target carried any grenades or missiles, ah, oh, cool. Cook off. Basically, yeah. Okay. Uh, so evens or odds for it exploding. It only uh, have a knife. I think odds for exploding. Odds for exploding, okay. Ah. Cool. God damn it, boy. Uh. And. Yeah, I'm going to call out my mouse and Bigby. Uh, that's 11 damage, no armor pen. Void uh... 2, 3 armor, then I've got... Mouse just, like, shrugs that off, right? Uh, yeah. Big uh... Bigby, on the other hand. Three armor, two toughness. Nice. Uh, well. Five. So that is eight six damage. Yep. Ow. Ow, indeed. Congratulations. We made ourselves. <laughs> Can I ask a quick question, Phil? Yes. You know, with Void Suit, mm -hmm. is it pen damage that pairs them? As in the penetration of the weapon? Or is it actual damage? Um, I would say pen damage. Yeah, I was just thinking about it. I didn't that, know which that, it was. I, think, I feel like that, would make, that, that makes more sense to me. Because you, you would assume that, I mean, it's damage to you. So, like, if. Um, I don't know, something with really high pen, you would assume that the armor stops it, but it doesn't stop it from, like, crumpling your fucking chest in, for example. I get you. I get you. Yeah. Sounds logical. 
Uh, can everybody else see everybody else's fate and wound bars, by the way? Yeah. Could you always do, or only no. now that I tweaked no. it? Only cool. No. I, 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 I could never... only ever see my own film. Cool. I, I just I just looked into that. You can't see the numbers on it, though, can you? No. Cool. No. That's fine for me, then. Cool. That'll give you a little indicator to say how, how, how bad off somebody looks. <laughs> cool. Theodore. Um, I can't see anything. I've just explosions of blood, gore, and explosion. Pretty much, yeah. So, um, what is going on? Um, definitely to the edge of the goal. Have a look around. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can um, see there's something big back there. Um, if you want to try and shoot at it, I will be taking some rather significant negatives to the point where I would say probably shouldn't. Like. So. Um. Uh. Surveying the situation. Three. Three corpses? Are these those actually bigger than the one in the middle, or is no, no, the same size? I just can be asked resizing them. Um. That was. Like there. Uh, sure. Give me an agility test. Flat or? Yeah, it's flat. Cool. Feel free. Nice. Uh, right. I would like to move out the splash zone. <laughs> so, let's say about there. Cool, the agility test. Okay, this is just flat. Yep. Uh, do I have something for agility? I can't remember. Uh, no, not anything specifically. Right. <laughs> nice. Uh, so uh, the rest of you see, uh, mouse. Uh, you know, with that level of fail, I'm gonna say uh, you got about halfway and fell on your ass. But you know, the momentum would have let me slide out of it, right? <laughs> I know. With that, you fell on your arse, and the momentum got you that far. Okay. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> nice try, though. Like nice a try. Slow squidgy noise, like. Yep. Big B. Like that. Have a squeak the chair then. Is it just the big boy left? Just the big boy left. Um. Yeah. What was that, Dodge? Thank him. Do it well. Sounds like a plus ten, extra plus ten to me. <laughs> plus ten to something with zero pen. Dodge him. With what? My bare fists. <laughs> a bit of pressure him to die. <laughs> Oh, go on, do it. <laughs> the more he shoots at someone else, the less he shoots at me. Uh, I'm going to switch to my pulse pistol. Okay. That's half an action, isn't it? Yeah. All right, I'll just take a shot at him then. Okay. Um, flat, I think. 
What's the range of the pulse pistol? 40. So it's under half range. Oh, cool. And I guess you get a plus 10. Congrats. No, sorry, plus 20. It's a, it's a big target. It hasn't, it hasn't affected any rolls yet, so that's okay. Uh, nice, that's a jam. Hold on. Jam? Yeah. You rolled a, you rolled a 98. Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna redo that. Okay. It's the only weapon I can use to fucking damage him if at all. Also, pulse pistol jamming sounds bad. Y yeah. I've already had something explode in my face in the past 10 minutes, no thank you. There we go. Slightly better. Fair enough. Uh, roll damage? Yeah. Ah, cool. I mean, I'm going to give it a chance to dodge. Fine. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, four pen. And where's it hitting? 8338, that's an arm. Reasonable, reasonable. Is it? Yeah, watch the health bar. Oh, nice. Uh, okay, that's that. Doesn't matter with that. Uh, Garville. Is all, so, all cultists are visibly dead, yeah? Yes, all, cult all, all cultists are visibly dead. Okay. Oh no, I've realised what we've just done. Yeah. Have you? I was... Mm. I can't believe you've done this. Well, when you kill things around fire... Circle. You know, or, I don't know, in a circle. Yeah, or in a circle, you know. Tends to summon things. You mean like this? It was going to be bad either way. But, yeah. Um... Yeah, 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 I, 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 yeah. Uh, I was expecting that. Yeah. So, Garville, since it's one full round, uh, where, where, where the guy that turned to ash in the middle of the circle, uh, another blood letter appears. And I've, now got, and I've now got a rather convenient Constantine blocking my line of sight to it. <laughs> um, you know what? For, because you are getting slightly minced, um, I'm going to like uh, skip the fear test for this one. I'm going to say Constantine's got abilities for that anyway. So, actually, what what is, what, what is your ability actually? Um, anybody that can see me in close combat is fear and pinning. Oh, that's awkward, because you're not in close combat. Never mind. Um, can everybody roll me a willpower test? Or whatever. Including well, me? Yeah. In, into the jaws of hell. Uh, Including me, Phil? No, Jargus and Lucius are currently... Uh, server skull? I can mean, see Lassie's it. staring at the ceiling right now. I mean, I think the last thing the server skull was doing was looking... Um, yeah, right at it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll let you let you away with it. Let you away with it uh, for an eye. Right. Really okay. Unless you're grand. Impersonal, impersonal combat. Well, there's cool. You're currently not shooting or fighting anything, so this definitely this this flies. So what was the roll again? Uh, yeah. will par at uh, okay, it's minus ten. It's fear two. Par minus ten. And it's warpy fear, isn't it, Phil? It's not normal fear. Correct. <laughs> nice. You realise how incredibly difficult it is for me to pass with power checks? Not my, my problem. Friend, sorry, Phil. Yep. I was going to say, you're not being able to pass with power checks? Sounds like a you problem. Yep. Phil, can I, on my crazy. last turn, can I say that I used a Medicaid test? All I'm able to gain is one HP, and then I'm not able to do another test at all. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm okay with uh, that. I'm actually going to try and use a reroll on that. Okay. So a minus 10. Minus 10, yes. Flat.
Not for Jaded. No, Jaded is for mundane horrors. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Uh, everybody sticking with those rolls? Yep. Um, we rolling up. You sure, Max? I, th I think I think you do better. I think you get a better roll than that. I have two points. I'm gonna use them sparingly. I mean, you also don't need to re-roll it. So if you did re-roll, I probably would have called you a bit of an idiot. Not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, in that case, Mouse is just so f so used to failing uh, them that he's no, like, I'm no, give no. It one more go. Fuck it. Minus seven is not good. No, it's really not. That's not much better. So we'll start off with uh, the what's well, likely to provide the least amount of comedy. Uh, Theodore's uh, D one hundred plus ten, please. Five's better than seven. Uh, 56 is reeling with shock. Character backs away from the thing that confronts them. Character cannot willingly approach the object of his fear, but may always act normally with a minus 10 on all tests until the end of the encounter. Character gains one insanity point. Congrats, you can't go into melee combat with the blood, with the blood letter. And you gain one insanity point. They go to the double team. <laughs> oh, was this a fear test? Yes. I've just been realising I should have... I, I need to plus 10 my fear tests. I completely forgot. Forgetting about hey, it. you passed it this time anyway, so it's all good. Uh, the next uh, level of comedy, uh, that'll be a D100 uh, plus 50 uh, from Garwheel. No, he passed. Sorry, my apologies. Oh, wait, hang yeah, on. Yeah, I'll re-roll. Hang on. Sorry. Um, if uh, Rose of Hell isn't working, then Iron Discipline will, so you all get a re-roll. Everyone? Yeah, up three. to my three, up to my willpower bonus, so up to three. Yeah, up to three re rolls. No, up to three people get one re roll. Oh well. Okay, well in that case, if anyone used fair points in that, um, refund them. I will call that Theodore's. Okay. Gar Garly, you get you get yours back then. And so do I. Yay. And so do you. Thank you. Um, you only get to re roll the the same thing once, so you can't re roll like three times just because you get three yeah. points in it. Okay, uh, in that case, that's a D10 plus 50. Aww! <laughs> Fuck you, Phil. Uh, the character is frozen by terror. The character may take no actions until he snaps out of it. After snapping out, it's a minus 10 for the rest of the encounter, and character gains 1D5 insanity points. 1D5, please. Many thanks. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, just, uh, you'll have a snap out of it before you can do anything, which is a willpower test at the beginning of your next turn, uh, and you can act normally from then on. Simple as that. Cool. I'm building my insanity back up, boys. Okay, uh, Garville, you were taking your turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> uh, you watch, I'm going to pass a, a really a, a willpower test, I'm going to fall on my arse with an agility test now. Uh, Phil, can I shoot in between mouse and the wall? There is a gap. Well, As in, mouse is once I've moved, prone, I mean. So. Oh, he's prone, isn't he? He is, yeah. If, yeah, for now you can shoot past him, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take a move round. That's no more than a half action, is it, Phil? No, it's definitely a half action. Agility test. Uh, oh, hang on, I moved, sorry. No, you move first and then you, I'll let you, take, you can take the test. Okay, agility test. Ooh. Oh, squeaky bum time. Lovely. And I shall take a shot at the... I think the... I'm out of line of sight with the marine, aren't I? I, think. Uh, I was going to say, that's the corner of the... No, I'm within no, line no. of sight. Uh, that's line of sight, yep. Yeah. Centre token, centre token. Be best. 
I'm going to I'm going to shoot the blood letter there. Okay. Be with is this with S? No, yes. no, this is with the uh, storm bolter. have to draw best. And also, mouse is right there. Yeah, Does Paywire yeah. do anything to um, power armor? Mm. I say no. Okay. Oh, what's the range? I get a plus ten. Uh, Stone Bolter is 90 range. What's the range for? Uh, um, twelve something. Yeah, it's like it's in, it's it's like around twenty meters, so you're fine. Oh, okay. All right, then I'll take a shot, a single shot, and move with the storm bolter. Okay. Uh, and that's a squiff, uh, almost a jam. I'll re-roll it. Okay. Jesus Christ. Lovely. This is what I like to see. Oh, look! A fallen mouse! Uh, another semi auto burst. This can be a plus. Oh, yeah. Nice! Oh, dear. Oh! oh no. It's a headshot. Good God. Is it possible to dodge when I'm, you know? You're on, you're on, you're on your ass? No? Do a barrel roll. Uh, oh, I got anything for this. Yes, yeah, so that's going to be three shots. It's time to pack him up and send him home in a cardboard box, guys. We ain't got a cardboard box. Bold of, you to, bold of you to assume that we'll survive this. I'm not even, I'm not even wearing my usual armour. I mean, it's your, it's your toughness that does like all the legwork for you, to be fair. Okay. But, yeah! Are we ready for this? Oh god. oh god, here we go. Three shots. One. Two. Three. Oh, oh no. Oof. Yeah. What's the reduction on that? I have a feeling mouse is just, like, out. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, okay, so your Thomas is taking ten damage off every single one of those start with uh the uh armor the void suits had what again sorry three <laughs> three four to the head okay so uh that's a headshot start with uh i think it's 14. head he it's head body head body i think uh so sorry head head body and it's it's head head body it's it's, it's always two two to the same place then one to the next biggest so it's head, head head body for those so that's uh actually that ignores armor on every single one of those okay so that's uh 7 10 12 7 minus 10 minus 12 29 <sighs> 29 well, damage. Still alive, but... still alive. Yeah. How many wounds do you have? 40. What? Fucking hell! <laughs> Fucking Jesus! <laughs> Christ. Ogryn, yo. Mouse is a squishy boy. <laughs> <laughs> that is Blubber. nice. Any other person in the party would have been pink misted. Yeah. Lucius. Maybe apart from Lucius. Well, I don't know, he's already almost killed Lucius with one shot, so... Uh, half like. action move, half action aim. Um, and I want to do something with your approval, Phil. Can right. I use my server skull's pincers to try and drag uh, the midget around the corner? Uh, you know what? I I'm up for that. Uh, what's its strength? Pretty sure we put the, card the stats in. A strength of ten. Okay, cool. Um, 
I'll give you a sporting chance. Uh, strength test plus 30 on the Zerbrus skull. <laughs> Why am I being dragged around the corner? Nah. Your quivering wreck. I tried. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, that's his, Lucy's turn. Oh, shit, no, I can, I can fire my MIU as a free action. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fire my MIU as a free action. Uh, single shot Halgun at the uh, Marine. Okay. I appreciate that's ha- that. Is, you get a plus 10 for half range, and that's about it. Uh, I get another plus oh, 10. Sorry, right. for, for bigger si- Hulking, yes, 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 yes. Plus 20 then. Okay, it's plus 30 then. Yeah, okay. That's plus 30. What's the... I just got a red dot. Oh. So, single shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, shit. Plus 10. Okay. That's, that's, that's competent. Okay. Not bad. But... Wow, that was good. It's a miss. <laughs> that's my turn. That's your turn. Okay, cool. Uh, So, it's the cultist guy. He had a frag grenade on him. It, 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 it gets better tonight, guys. Is he not dead? Yeah. Uh, the part of the rule for the uh, thing was, if they're holding any grenades, they go off one full turn after. Oh, okay. So. This one's been played too much card. Which cultist <sighs> is this? Uh, the, the one next to you. Yep. It already exploded. Uh, that was his ammo going off. This is the grenade in his pocket. Oh, I'm <laughs> just happy to see us then. I'm 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 sorry, Phil, but if they were only using knives, how would they have ammo? <laughs> no, they they had knives and uh, like auto carbines. Okay. Don't, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Is okay. that atheists? <laughs> oh, where the fuck did grenades go? Beyond the grenades. I'm pretty sure it's just like 2D time with like no pen. We haven't accidentally cast grease on ourselves. Uh, Maybe, standard frag grenade, two d ten with a blast of four meters. Nice. Does Theodore have a way of intimidating or like drawing enemies closer? I could ask nicely. Okay. Um. Everybody. Everybody's getting hit. Potentially getting hit by this. There's two d ten damage with zero ban. Okay. This could be enough to kill Fiddle. This could be enough to kill Fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Uh, Spiddle. So no. I'll have you know. No, toughness. That is How me. Much pen? Zero. Oh, nothing. No pen. All right. That's one damage. Don't kill my server skull, you fucker. You can dodge. <laughs> okay, dodge it then. Oh yeah, we can dodge. Yeah, you are like you can use yeah, up your dodges that. if you want. I mean, the Space Marines already went this round, so if you haven't used your dodge, feel free. Was it just a flat agility? Yeah, it's going to be flat agility. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to punch you oh, wait, more no, for the dodge. fucking grease I, I in the dodge. ground. Dodge explosions? Yeah, you can. That would have been nice last turn. Okay, now it's dead. Uh, uh, I'm a real roll. Zero pen, aren't right? You're going to get, like, what, a couple of damage at most, right? Oh, no, maybe not. Fifteen. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Against my four toughness and hit points. Oh, yeah, good point. Okay, 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 fine, fine, fine. I can't dodge because I'm stunned. In fear. Correct. I'm dead. No, it says you can, it says you can otherwise act normally. Worse. Good dodge. No, better. Still not good. Okay, dodge, flat roll, boom. Oh! Sweet. Um, for do- mm, well, did you take that? Hang on, let me check. Remember if you took the thing for that. Uh... What's the thing for moving to the edge of blast radius? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, I don't think I have it there. That's fine. You just dodge it. You, I don't know, like duck down a bit and it goes over your head or some shit. 
Phil, did I use my dodge? I can't remember. Um, I can't remember either. Go for it. You, okay. You, you, uh, to be honest, you probably do sponge all of it with your fucking power armor. Uh, Theodore. Yeah, hang on. Uh, so it's minus three for armor, is it? Yep. Nope, I don't dodge it. Take seven off it, so that is uh, eight off the first hit. It damaged to Theodore. Oh, sorry. So it's toughness and armor value, isn't it, Phil? Yes. Okay, so armor is eight on the first hit. And for toughness, that's 12. Is it 15? Yep. So that's three damage, isn't it? There we go. That's enough. And can I get a dodge from the service skull? Oh, you did. Nice. We, 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 I think your, fit, your service skull might have a fit point, right? So it totally got a fit point. Sure, whatever. Open the bastard again. You're too nice to us, Phil. I am. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you're, you're, you're all dying in the corridor. Yeah, it's even deader. <laughs> nice. That's what I get for trying to help people. Jericho. It's okay. By the end of this, you could fashion a servo skull out of either me or Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Rather large for one from Mouse, I would assume. Yeah, you could use it as a battering ram. Though. I was going to say, there's a lot of empty space inside the skull for putting mechanics in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even if I do do a half move, I won't be able to see the. Well, if if I if I said Lucius was in fact here, you've got a midget in the ground, and Mice is still on the floor. So it's four meters. Well, if you just move four meters, um. Wait, I forget. I get a plus one armor from the thickness of Mouse's skull, right? <laughs> That's totally a thing, right? Yeah, he's built up extra like, okay. calluses because of all the solutions. You know what? Solutions. If you squeak it up to there, I'll let you squeak it up to there. I, I, I do actually kind of want you to survive this, and I feel like I've got my lumps in, so move up to the arrow. <laughs> up to the arrow, okay. There you go. Righto. And, um... It'll be a single shot. Oh yeah, of course it will. If my sheet wouldn't fuck up and put the there we go. Uh, plus plus thirty, I think, because you, you've got red dot on that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, it's plus thirty then. Because uh, range size red dot. Nice. That's yeah, more yeah. like it. Oh, sorry, I forgot. So here's some good news for you. Pay attention. Yeah. Space Marine angry. Theodore. He oh. That's a lot of damage. Yep. Does he Shit. have to reload? Who? The Space Marine, is that the good news? No, look at his health. <laughs> uh, I fired three times, so no. You fired four times. Have I? Because you took a chunk out of thingy's leg. Yeah. That was a that was a burst as well. Yeah. I dodged. That's two. You hit mouse. That's three. Doesn't yeah. really matter anyway. Yeah, that's three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, three. Three bursts. I've got one burst. Then he has to reload. Ah. It's a magazine of 12, and it's three shot bursts, so. Okay. I have one more. Then he's using that chain sword. Or he, or he can reload four. Uh, but, 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 but. He does a rapid reload, so he has to spend a whole turn re No. Oh, fuck, man. It's a half turn reload, because it takes one full turn to reload, so it's a half turn reload. So he can, he can reload and take a single shot. Basically, yeah. I mean, assuming he's not superhuman, which he obviously is, you could still charge us anyway, so... Yep. Uh, the worst bit is, since High Gildian's wearing full power armor, the, because he's hulking, the uh, movement goes up by one meter, because of the size, basically. 
<laughs> so let's see. The charge range is uh, twenty. I was going to say I, he can literally get anywhere in two years if he wants. Mouse will gnaw at his ankles as he goes past. <laughs> Theodore, it should go by the way. Ah, cool. Um, half action aim with uh, both stand. That's ten for half action aim. Ten for what are you aiming at? The uh, uh, put that I think. Oh yeah, I forgot that exists. I forgot to put it in the turn yeah. order. Whoops. I'll put it in for next round. World low. Oh, you can dodge whilst prone, but it's minus twenty. Ah. Huh? I think Mel should get a fair chance. You know what? So do I. Uh, have a ha, try the roll. Uh, so it's dodge at minus twenty then. Okay. Uh, two four seven in the thing as well. If you want to see it. First. That's fine. I'm happy enough. Well, there we go. Hmm. That's what seven damage back. I said. What was, what was damage? Twenty nine. Be the I think. first damage roll that you would get back. It was 17, I think? Oh, right, yeah, yeah. 17, 20, 22. Okay, so the, the weediest of the hits. Cool. Uh... Okay, cool. Back in 20. Huh? I think. No. No, no. That's uh, 17. Did the miles wrong. There you go. Sorry. All good. All good. Uh, but yeah, what are you aiming at? Uh, blood letter, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, do your thing. So, plus 30, by my reckon? Yeah. Oh, right, come on. Uh, I'll re-roll that. Oh, wait, no, I've got the second one. Are they both on the same roll, or is it...? Uh, because of the way that skill works, yes, they're both on the same roll. But you roll damage twice. Alright, cool. Uh, I'll re-roll that one, then. Fuck. Oh, fuck. <sighs> okay, Fine. then. It's the blood letters go... And he's going to. Well, mouse on the grind. It's always but something I... last in the turn order. And well, we, 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 you might have one solace. You do not. Never mind. Uh, that that was the agility test. See if it fell on its arse. And attack roll, charge plus ten, bigger target plus twenty, and that is a pass. Also, you're on your ass, so it's a pass. Uh, you know, I'm gonna be nice and say this thing doesn't have a sword, and it's just it's just good. It's claws, okay? Yeah, that seemed a bit bit more bit, bit more reasonable. Yeah, <laughs> slightly. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, you can still roll, can you? With two pen. I have a dodge available for this, right? Uh, technically no, but I don't really want Mouse to die just yet, so well, go ahead. The other one kind of retroactive. Yeah. <laughs> go on. I mean, it's a dodge at minus 20 anyway, so like... Yes, it's not, not hugely favourable, but... <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> nice. Don't manage. Oh, he's suddenly got a sword now. <laughs> Super fair fucking battle rolls right there. Fair enough. Mouse, here go. Right, I can get up as a free action, which is nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think you don't need to roll agility unless you want to move. So I, because this thing is right in my face. Yes. Correct. Yes. And I'm kind of angry at this point. Duplex. 
I am going to, where is it? Is it Frenzy? I can't remember what it's called now. Yeah, Frenzy. You know what? I think you've been shot up and all that sort of stuff. I feel like you can go straight into a Frenzy without that, without needing the warm-up turn. I think I think that's that's reasonable. Does it even need a warm-up turn? Normally, yes. You spend a turn getting yourself uh, into a frenzy, but I, I I feel the requirements have been met. <laughs> <laughs> and then some. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Mouse is a little bit peeved at this point. So uh, yeah, once again with the bayonet, only it's going to be plus ten to whatever other bonus I have. Um, I think it's just plus ten. So oh, that's plus twenty overall. Oh, it's you drink it. It all counts all, all eight attacks, doesn't it? So that's plus thirty. Oh, I can do. I yeah, I could. could if, I, you do, if you're an all eight attack, I mean, attack you've already used your dodge, so you may as well send it around. So I think you gain this uh, a little bit. All out attack. I've got something for all out attack as well. I think. Curious assault on a successful weapon skill test for an all out attack. Get a second free attack. Nice. Go for it. So I really want to roll well here. So it's what plus thirty, you said. Yes. If I fail this, I'm gonna. <laughs> that's an exact pass. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. And that's that's to the head. So uh, give me another uh, attack roll under the same conditions, and I'll be plus thirty. But this, this is your free attack. Actually, I don't know why I'm. Rolling this is weapon skill. And I'm not sure either, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And roll damage again for me. For the... for your... Yeah. Yeah. So it's just for damage. 22. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. Damage reduction for this fucker. Hope it's either. Through the back of his own skull. Okay. Mouse, you wouldn't like him when he's angry. <laughs> I think that's quite enough to kill it, but. Uh, uh, uh. Oh shit, yeah, nice! Uh, so Mouse stands up and literally stabs this thing twice through the head with the bayonet, and it just flops to the ground. And so it starts Mouse fizzling out into boys. warp energy. <laughs> I think Mouse is angry, boys. Basically, does it with a, a massive roar as he's stabbing. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking ang stop, angry war. Stop it. He's ang dead. Actually, I'm kind of imagining, I don't know how many people have seen the, the third Star Trek, but, but where Kirk is stomping on the Klingon's fingers and going, I have had enough of you! He's <laughs> along those lines. Yeah, that works. That works. So, so, so nice. You, you guys have officially reached the point where you can kill blood letters in one turn, uh, but can't kill a Chaos Space Brain in about five. Uh, Big B. Because we've been tripping up over ourselves for the last five rounds. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Do I have to still We've discovered our, our weakness. Just, you know, uh, spread some... Yeah, we'll protect to see if you can act normally. Spread some slippery oh, stuff around on the floor. Minus ten? Yep, yeah, because of the conditions, yes. Wahoo. <sighs> I'm frozen. Yep, big big B is staring off into the void. Uh, Garveal. Alright, can I shoot through my gap? Yep. Okay, uh, full auto burst at the Ujimi Flippy big guy. Okay, go for it. Or is it again plus 30 on full auto or 20? Uh, plus 20. Okay. Cool, and roll damage again.
Second damage. Okay, dodging one of those, dodging the first, second to make the second hitting. And that's also Righteous Fury, so roll attack again, same conditions. Um, so you can get, so you can squeeze an extra 10 damage. Ooh, okay. Oh shit, no, sorry, my my bad. Um cool. Uh so uh first shots dodge first shot doing eleven, second shot's doing twenty-three, and I need um another two damage rolls for the second degree of success. Alright, okay. You, sorry, two more damage rolls. Yes, two more damage rolls as well. I, that was my that was my mistake. So two more just literally just the damage if you click uh damage, I think it is. Yeah, it's right. Sorry, I went to do that before and went to press roll again so I had to cancel it yeah, off. I'm no sorry. Worries. Okay, uh, 50, uh, so it's, a le uh, it's uh, 23, uh, 13, and 8. Okay. Uh Damn. Uh, Voltage are blast damage. Uh, the the target's arm disintegrates under the force of the explosion, taking a good portion of the shoulder and chest with it. The target is sent screaming to the ground, where he dies in a pool of, own, of his own blood and organs. Nice. So yeah, Garville has stepped up and marked the fucking Space Marine. Combat over. Starship. Starship trooper style. Okay. I think we've earned a break there. I, th I think he's definitely earned a break, yeah. Yes, I need more booze. <laughs> I think we need a lot of bandages as well. Is there like a hazard pay equivalent in crab puffs for this kind of duty? Um, I'm sure you could organise one, yeah. Considering, you know, the only other seriously injured person in the party who's also traumatised is, is the one that fucking cooks them for you. I'm, know I'm about... pretty badly hurt as well. Yeah, four of you are like pretty badly hurt. I'm still catatonic. Notice that our seneschal is perfectly fine. Yeah, because your sen because your seneschal is smart and you should listen to him <laughs> when he says things feel freaky. <laughs> <laughs> when things are freaky, that's not the time to hide around corners. No, but it is the time when you pop out of a corner and do more or less half his health down in damage. You're an officer, damn it! You leave from the front. You know that's Philly. why you've got a new face. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I can see things more clearly now than I ever could before. Do you guys do you, do you guys want to know how I found out you could dodge us prone? Reading the book. Yes, but I was trying to look out. I was trying to look up the range, which is really overcomplicated. Um, because I have an inferno pistol with a ten meter range. Yes. That's thirteen pen. And two d ten damage. Yeah, yeah, that's why you should be at the front. <laughs> No, because I've only taken a minus 10, and because he's hulking, it would have been flat. Yeah. You know, you really had me uh, second-guessing myself there, Phil. Did I? Good. Well, I was thinking heavy bolter, because the heavy bolter is the big boy weapon. You get what I mean for a big boy? 
Look, I'm just I, like I'm just saying, right? I knew you guys had the heavy boulder. You guys have a melter gun. You have an inferno pistol. You've also got a needle gun, which uh, can ignore uh, one level of a natural toughness because it's got felling. You just didn't use any of those things. You've you know only why? get yourselves to blame. This is why I was second guessing myself, Phil. Do you <laughs> want to know why? Why? If I'd have took out the heavy bolter, it's a full turn, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Because it's on my back. It's a, it's a heavy weapon as well, so yeah, I would definitely yeah. like enforce that as a full turn. And then, it was, if you charge me, I'm fucked. I'm not gonna lie, I was, th I was thinking about moving up, but it was doing pretty fucking nice with the bolt pistol, so yeah, like... That, that was why I didn't take the heavy bolter out, because if you'd have charged me while I had the heavy bolter out, I'm pretty much fucked. Hey, don't World Eaters have like a rage as well? Uh, you know what? They might. I haven't looked in the Black Crusade to uh, sort that part out. <laughs> as, as, uh, like, as far as I'm concerned, this is some random fucking offshoot that's been trapped in this fucking space hulk and doesn't have any particular associations. Okay. Uh, as well, far as I'm concerned. It's all I could think of. It was just a no feel. The minute I take the big belt right, the fucker's going to charge me, so I can't use it. <laughs> But no, that was good. <laughs> Everybody so, having fun. fun. <laughs> How's your gun? I am, yeah. <laughs> also, uh, you know, the when you're prone, it's a minus ten to hit with a ballistic, but a plus ten with a weapon. Yeah, but there's being prone and then there's being on your ass, uh, and being a vulnerable target, which you would be on a slippery surface. There's not prone. It does have a point. Mm. Being on your ass is just flavour. Yeah, I see where you're coming from. Take, if you're going to take away my fear of uh, immunity to fear, fear of immunity. <laughs> 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 Completely different things. Anyway, coffee. Back in a bit. I'm assuming this circle is still burning, Phil. Um, it's sort of it's 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 lost the worst of it. I think would be the way to put it. Smoldering. Yeah. Okay. I was honestly waiting for him to charge, to be honest. Fucking chainsword. So everyone playing Antistasi now? A lot of people, I think, yeah. Hi, back. Hi, back. Oh, no, it's only... Oh, yeah, there's a fair few of them. There's about five of them. Cool. Um, at the rate you're going at, we'll be wrapping up. You know, reasonably soon. So. I'm also back. Oh, I'm not looking to go back and play and I'm quite enjoying it. Oh, no, I mean, I mean I, I've, there's, so much, there's so much I want to do, and given how long that took, um, I think I might be better saving off the last bit of this for the start of next week. Okay. What's happening? Nothing, nothing. The the left side of this big room here, is that, does that carry on or is that just the wall? Right hand side, sorry. Uh, That's the wall. I don't know why I said left when I meant right.
I'm back. Anyone still here? Yeah, everyone's still here. Yeah. You know, I was thinking there's one big drawback with that heavy ball to fill. What's that? If you're not in line of sight of the target, it's basically two turns before you can use it. Yeah. One turn to get it out, and then you've got to move to line of sight so you can't fire it because it only fires on full auto. Kind of makes sense in a way, but yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. does make sense. Oh, definitely for a weapon like that. You know, the most thing I enjoyed about that was the little side thing of the blood on the floor. Those little effects are nice. Just makes you think a lot more about what you're doing. Are any of you guys interested in Final Fantasy? A little? Kinda? Uh, if you are Method, the WoW Guild, Phil knows who they are, they're on their Twitch channel, they're going to be broadcasting Race to World First for the new uh, Final Fantasy game. Is that the remake of Seven? Uh, yeah. They're going to be broadcasting it on their channel. Hmm, okay. Cool enough. Huh. Well, at least we can officially say we've seen a Chaos Space Marine then. And lived. Barely. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from the fact we don't actually know it's a Kyle Space Marine. Technically. Yeah, when everybody's back we'll get going again. Are we missing anybody? So you cannot forever hold your peace? I think so. Fills in? Yeah, I sent him back. Oh, sorry. And uh, Dodge is here. Chrome Dome. Okay, he's not here. Hmm. SpaceX's latest launch had a failed booster landing. Aw. Although, to be fair, given the, given the success rate of them, uh, one, one in a while really isn't a bad thing. <laughs> well, it was its fifth flight, and uh, I think they turned it around in nine months. Yeah, exactly. Are they flying the space shuttle again? No, this is SpaceX boosters. Ah. Uh. It was another Starlink mission. They got all the satellites into orbit too, successfully. It's just the booster failed to land. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. Well, it landed near the ship, but it um, fell over in the water. Uh, it landed in the water. One thing I am going to do, Phil, before we get swamped and stuff, is I am going to use my pick recorder to take pictures of the various enemies. Sure. Ooh. Back. Would you be blind? Cool.
Uh, let's get okay. Let's just get Slacker back in. Because, yeah, I think I think I think will be a fairly sharpish finish tonight. But uh, yeah, let's carry on. Okay, so what does everybody think about uh, about that? Shoot the cops. Okay. Mouse would definitely want some kind of trophy. Fair enough. Oh, not from these people. No. Not that at all. That feasibly fit inside the Space Marine's helmet. And you know, if it starts whispering to me, then... <laughs> More friends, right? Yeah. I mean, there's... Um, lonely again. Well, I mean, you know, if you, if you want to loot him, uh, there is... Let's see. <laughs> Excuse me. I want to see if I can pick up his bolter. An Astardi's bolt pistol and an Astardi... Well, Chaos Astardi's, obviously. Uh, chainsword. I think the Chainsword might more catch Mousy's eye. You realise this is a How chaos. big is the Chainsword? <laughs> uh, my size. I mean, um, it's, it's designed for Space Marines, which your class is hulking. Uh, therefore, uh, it is and the ideal size for mice. Is anyone going to try and persuade Mouse this is a bad idea? Yes, it's a very bad idea, Mouse. But, but it'll look good hung up on my wall. Mouse, if we take anything heretical back onto that ship, we could all die. Don't we already have a heretical sword on that ship? A heretical sword? But, but I want it. From Demon Constantine? Yeah, he's never got rid of that. Um, shit. Oh yeah, you don't know about that. More, eh? <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> well, this is the right time and place to talk about it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have reason to believe that there's some, something or someone representing um, possibly the Inquisition. The, the message was quite uh, ambiguous, shall I say. I think I think you might have to On roll board. to persuade Mouse. He really wants this. Fellowship. I mean, um, if it's the Inquisition, I think they'll be slightly more pissed off at the fact we have an Imperial Rosette as well. Put it this way: if we're seen Basically, bringing back we're heretics, at this point. if we're seen bringing back anything more heretical, as either trophies or to use. We could be in some very deep trouble, and even more deep trouble than we already are. Just saying. Do what you will. Well, we can't just leave it here for some random passerby. It's on a fucking space hulk. Look at the children. I'm afraid Garvia would chime in with, I would try to agree with Afri uh, the Seneschal. We shouldn't take anything that chaos infested onto our ship. Mouse is going to sulk a bit, but he'll reluctantly put it back down. It's on a space hook that you see every ten years. Which admittedly is more reliable for is more than reliable for a space hulk, But come on, who goes onto a space hulk? It would like gestures around at the assembled group. Yeah, and I'm starting to think we're all insane. Uh, at this point, Garvey will be chiming in uh, with, don't you think we should do something with the injured before we start discussing this? It's, it's fine. It's well. just a scratch, he says, blood profusely coating his face. <laughs> Lisa would voice up and say, indeed, you're right. And he would stoop down and pick up... Uh, what's left of his servo skull. Um, and he'd put it into some new, like, cavity that's in his stomach. That's, like, probably the first time you've seen it. Because he's done some cable management and he can put stuff in there now. <laughs> what, <laughs> like a marsupial pouch. <laughs> cable managed engineer. <laughs> Engency. I love that. <laughs> cable. Oh, that's brilliant. <clears throat> then he would say, um, you're very welcome, squat. I attempted to save you. <laughs> Seeing as, seeing as how we're, you know, going to be on here for a little bit yet, 
how how about I just at least get to use it while we're here? User entered your channel. Hello. What a glorious idea. User in your channel timed out. Weird. What, what was that, sorry? Oh, right, no, the thing. Uh, yeah. yeah, whatever you guys think, I don't care. I just want to have a house using a Chaos Chainsaw. It's too good an opportunity to pass up. Uh, Lucius would again voice up on the topic of um, trophies and whatnot. Um, and he would say, I'll, as the uh, the armorer and the, uh, the tech expert here, uh, I can safely say that uh, at least taking a trophy that is not used in any way and would see its life beyond holy glass for the rest of its its uh, its years would um, would most certainly be safe. So perhaps its gauntlet or its helmet or something, provided that it's not used. It didn't use its chainsword. No, 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 as in provided none of us actually use anything tainted. Ah. Yeah. If it's on display, then nothing will uh, Nothing I, will be untoward. I, I, like, I like his idea. We're not. And Mouse picks it back up again. <laughs> I, think I'd, I think I'd want the... Uh, and more importantly, um... Uh, Lucius would, would start, um... Uh, giving medical attention to people. He's, he's not a soft-hearted, like, soft, warm-handed nurse. He's got, like, freezing cold hands, and he's very abrupt. <laughs> and it's quite painful. Um, so... I'd be able to heal... Um, if you've taken more than double your toughness bonus, User I can heal... Channel. My internet keeps... I can give you six HP back. Oh. Uh, if you've taken more than that, I can give you one HP back. And I don't think I... I can't be bothered to roll this, Phil, because it's a 90 when it's flat. That's and fine. Free re -roll. Yeah, yeah, that's that's fine. I'm not going to... That's Wait, perfectly so reasonable what? to me. How does that work with having unnatural... Um, it, I mean, it, it functionally doubles your toughness bonus. So again, if you've taken more than... Double. If you've taken less HP than double your toughness bonus, I can give you six HP back. If you've taken more than that, I can give you one HP. Oh, back. okay. That that would be really hard for me to surpass that with mouse. Then I think so. Yeah, six I HP. That right. I only get one HP back. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't know. Like, if I ever take that much damage, I'm I'm that I would reach double my uh, thing. Then I'd be long dead at that point. I guess after after that's done, Lucius would be eager to get this done. He doesn't seem very happy that he didn't get to do much in that combat, and that he got shot and almost died mm -hmm. again. So, just just out of interest, where, where do I see stats for a chainsaw? Oh, that one is. Uh, uh, uh base stats is that doesn't seem right. I've got the Black Crusade rulebook. I can check later. Um, um, I'll double check that real quick. Uh, the stats I have for here is it. Well, the stats that it was using is a D10 plus strength bonus. Uh, rending, uh, tearing, balanced, pen four. Uh, so that be a, what D10 plus ten damage for mice. Rending, pen four with tearing. I mean, that's Ouch. still pretty good. Still really quite good. Balanced as well, which is quite nice. Yeah. Uh, Legion Chain Axe. Yeah, 1d10 plus 3 rending, pen 3, tearing balanced. So it's got one more pen than a normal chainsaw. And one more damage. Uh, yeah, so, uh, sorry, it's, it's, it's listed as a starter chainsaw in the book I'm looking at. So, oh, okay. uh, yeah, d uh, yeah, d10 plus 3 uh, with pen 4 uh, as base damage. So then it'll be d10 plus... Three plus strength bonus. So yeah, that's so yeah. D ten plus three on your uh, character sheet. Um, Phil, is yes. there any signage on this door to the south? Uh, no. No signage at all. No signage at all. Uh, you do know that to be the way forward. After Lucius has uh, nursed everyone, 
gets uh, been damaged. Um, he's just going to start moving along and hoping that uh, hoping that his friends follow him. Oh, sorry, I, my my audio cut out. Um... It's right. We're just doing like weapon stats. Um, you didn't miss anything. Uh, healing though. Oh, healing. Yeah. Um, so if you've taken less than double your toughness bonus, you get six HP back. If you've taken more than that, you only get one. One. HP I have back. taken double my. Okay, you only get one HP back. Yes. Wait, then Mouse gets six HP back. Does he not? He does. He's already yeah, done I it. I did. Yeah. Sorry, I have to find out that. Yeah, I've taken eight. Ah. I'm on is, six. Is, is, uh, sorry, I was just... It is the, the standard Astartes Chainsword stats, then. Just looking this up. I remembered some of it, but I don't remember all of it. When you were reeling it off. Does this look like a security door, Phil? Uh, it does. Would you like to... Yeah? After that's done, can I say some of them? Yeah, of course. Cheers. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I'll roll security. Um, any modifiers? Um, no, I mean, I've been using flat text for uh, Lucius, so... Uh, hmm. Yeah. Cool. Uh, the door opens. And... I'll let you guess what happens when I reveal it. We die. Boom vents. Boom. Yep, uh, this entire room is void of space. Uh, the whole appears to go down about three or four levels, uh, which is entirely voided. There is, of course, path round, but uh, you need the voice it's on, and I'm going to be taking... Uh, an agility test when you get when you over this bit. Over what I'm, bit, sorry? I'm assuming Lucius would have, I'm hoping he would have repaired any damage my void suit would have incurred. Uh yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be that dickish. I'm gonna say <laughs> uh like your void suits are fine. Take it. You get um, patch kits anyway. Yeah you do. Lucius is gonna make his way across. Okay. You got your spidery shape, so I'm not even gonna bother. Did you say we have um, the impellers? Oh shit, yeah. Yeah, okay, fine. Never mind the test then. <laughs> Sorry, Phil. <laughs> it's fine. It doesn't really matter. It's m m mostly really just upset. for flavor. Can I... Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I just wanted to go over and remove a piece of his armor. So that's all. Yeah, sure. Uh, take a shoulder pauldron. I would expect nothing less. Okay. If that's alright. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Theod Theodore's got the helmet, yeah. Yeah, sure. Thank you. The mouse has got a new letter opener. <laughs> <laughs> With teeth. <laughs> so yeah, I was going to say, mouse, the materials appear to be a little bit weirder than usual. But you know, there's no like weird energy coming out of it. There's no, you know, it's you know, it it, it appears to be a normal thing. It just metals are a bit weirder, I guess. Okay. Yeah, you, you give it some experimental swings and gun it a couple of times, and then you only strap it to his back. I, d I dare say it's, it's a, a, a rather more demonic growl uh, from the engine in it, but that's that's purely purely acoustically, not. Uh, not, not, it's not, not, not sourced from demonic power. <laughs> it's not possessed. <laughs> no, it's not possessed. It, 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 I promise it is literally just a chaos manufactured uh, chainsword, not a. Uh, it's an angry chainsword. So, yeah, it's not. It's not a demon chainsword or anything like that. So don't worry. Okay. Oh, um, for simplicity's sake, we will just say uh, you progress on through the ship. Well, through that bit anyway. Um. So, what navigation test, what navigation skills do we have on the crew? Oh dear. This, uh, this, this is this is more so I can figure out how long how long it's going to take you 
to uh, navigate your way up to the bridge. I only have surface. Okay. Just my knowledge of Imperial Navy ships, Phil. Oh, yeah, good point. Um, yeah, cool. Can I have uh, what's... Uh, give me a flat roll on that. Practical Imperial. Common Law Imperial Navy? Uh, yeah, flat roll. Nice. Cool. Um, I'm going to say he's making your way up to the... Uh, we'll say make about halfway to the bridge in that roll. And I uh, can have uh, awareness test from everybody, please. Hearing based. Hearing based. Okay, give me it's 10. Oh, that was from Lucius, my bad. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Ooh, close. But you love enhanced... Cool. Uh, things. For everybody that passed that, I hear some uh, bumping in motion a few corridors down. Uh, the way you're moving, you can't avoid it. So, like, you're not an immediate threat, but yeah, there's definitely still somebody, I guess, uh, kicking popping around. Popping and movement. Did you say popping and movement? Yeah, it's somebody breakdancing. <laughs> no, no, there's just, like general movement somewhere. Right, you know, okay. down corridors or whatever. You know, there's, there, there are footsteps other than your own. Can I just make a statement now? I'm going to get the heavy bolter out for. Okay. Fair enough. That's if that's that message is relayed because I didn't hear it. Sorry. Yeah, uh, Matt would certainly indicate that there's, there's, you know, mm. something up ahead. In that case, he'll uh, draw the heavy bolter out. I was going to say, not, not up ahead, like adjacent, and not. Oh, okay, yeah. And uh, you, you don't need to go that way to get where you're going. That's what I'm saying. Over that away. Yes, it's very much the way down yonder sort of thing. Um, promise, that, promise that's my, my way of just saying the place isn't empty yet. <laughs> yeah, um, I would vote to. Move, uh, carry on, and not like bother with it. Move around it. Uh, I will go in my best knowledge of the direction of the bridge jump hill. Cool. Um, I'll take another uh, test this time at a plus ten. Oh, sorry, I meant the common law one. My apologies. Oh, sorry. Whoops. Sorry. It's okay. Has <laughs> me not. Cool. Uh, on that one, sorry. Cool. For a minus three, uh, I was going to say he's gained a bit of time in the first roll, and for that roll, I'm going to say he's lost it again. Uh, but most, not necessarily due, due, due to your own faults. It's just the the routes that you normally would have picked uh, are all like completely voided, or uh, like blocked off with like sheared metal and stuff like that. Got it. Uh Okay. Maris is gonna tap the bulkhead cutter and go, could is there could we just cut our way through? Is there a cooker route? Yeah, I was gonna say, I mean um uh, we, we we can say some of the time loss is from straight up cutting through some things. Uh because Garville insists that's the correct way, for example. Uh, uh, yeah, works for me. But yes, uh, that's that's to represent a time loss. Um, so, with all that in mind, um, by the time he's reached the bridge, which L3 is on to in a second, uh, he's got a crackled message uh, over the Vox. Uh, something, and uh, the words that get through are uh, warp energy, User uh, your ours, hurry. Fuck. We need to get this done and fast. Okay. Uh, thankfully, though, he's right at the bridge. It's completely empty. For now. Can anybody scan the room? I mean, we Skull's dead, mate. Is the bridge voided? I've got a macadendrite for this. 
Nope, uh, bridge is held up. Um, the blast screen and all that sort of stuff. Um, apparently, I was going to say the yeah part, part sort of like the side of the bridge is sort of, uh, sort of shielded a little bit by the by some other part of the Hulk. But yeah, it's 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 pretty clean. Yeah. Right. If the room looks clear, um, let's just head towards the uh, the control console that can give it the most access. Is that one, I guess? Yeah. Right, sure. Covey will point helpfully. <laughs> and, of course, Fedor will make his way towards the uh, the chair. Mass is going to take up station at the end of one of these consoles, in the theory it might give a bit of cover, and just basically cover the way we came in. Sure. Is that, with his ripper gun. As Covey all comes round the corner, that is... A, is that what I'm seeing, a door, Phil? It is indeed a door, yes. He will communicate with the party that there's a door, which, would, to his knowledge, would he think he knows where it goes? Uh, if you're thinking it would lead to the captain's, the captain's quarters, yes. Yeah, it looks like a door, and to my knowledge, it's probably the captain's quarters. Uh, I was going to ask um, if you want me to open it. He's just going to plug around. in, by the way. Okay. And uh, top of the test at a minus 10. Not bad. Uh, the machine spirit was particularly revulsed that you're trying to uh, interact with it up here when you've got like that little bit more access to the ship. Uh, but uh, okay, I guess you <laughs> I guess you're kind of prepared for it this time. Uh, cool. What kind of things are you going to try and access? Uh, Lisa should turn back to Theodore and ask, uh, what do you need to know, Lord? I'm in. Well, um... Yeah, that really. Um, what happened? Um... What happened to the ship? For it to end up in this state? Uh, were there any survivors? Did any escape? Uh, left on board? Okay, Can you think of anything else that we need? Uh, cargo manifests. I tried that before. Um, layout, ship layout, possibly, or have you already tried that too? That's part. Uh, that's in part what got you this far. Okay. As a quick suggestion, Garbiel would ask uh, navigation logs. Yeah. Sure. Ooh. Yeah, we'll try and pull all of this stuff. Uh, that uh, navigation logs is a good one. Mm. Well, that's what you'd be interested in being a ship person, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, like any, any any logs, like combat logs. Uh... Yeah, just all logs. I okay, guess. Um, I'm going to take a uh, take just minus fifty for uh, like more personal logs, like uh, captain's logs and uh, like browser history <laughs> <laughs> and uh, things like corrupted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like sort of personnel files and like, like the, the more more personal personality sort of stuff. Um, it's gonna be at minus fifty. Uh, the only the only system that's currently active and has logged anything, uh, even remotely recently, is in fact the nav log. So uh, that's only gonna be at a minus thirty. Are these gonna be separate tests for separate tests? Well, yeah. Okay, I'll do the minus thirty one now. Okay. Uh, goes down to minus twenty because I can plug in, and mm -hmm. I don't need to use my combo tool, do I? Uh no. All right. Ooh, very nice. Okay, and the captain's logs. Start eight. <laughs> Sorry. What was it, minus 50? Minus 50. Okay, so down to minus 40. Would the captain like to do me to... the captain like me to do it well? Of course. 
Hey, nice. Very nice. Okay, uh, the nav logs I will uh, update for you for next week. Um, we'll say uh, you got access to them, but you're going to need to do some decrypting on uh, your ship. Uh, like, sort of download it, like, encrypted, and they're going to need a little bit of debugging. But from what you can tell, uh, they're relatively intact, and you have uh, all the logs for the last, like, couple of hundred years. Nice. So you'll, you'll need, need to do a little bit of uh, scanning through them and whatnot, but uh, the data is there. Uh, the captain's log, on the other hand, uh, the specifics are, are a little bit foggy as far as uh, the uh, end, the, sort of the, the very end's concerned. Uh, you hear something about uh, a boarding action uh, from a sort of second party. Uh, the XO has noted that the captain has went and uh, participated in some sort of boarding action uh, against an, uh, against the forces of chaos uh, and didn't come back. Uh, didn't expect to be coming back either. Uh, the, uh, there's, the, there's a couple logs from the XO after that are essentially uh, like very brief uh, ship lost, all hands, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you know, uh, box communication out, astropaths dead, so no way of communicating, all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, uh, you, can, you can extrapolate from that, the ship essentially left uh, drifting and eventually ended up in the Hulk. Uh, will the Kangarve or see the ship's name, please? Uh, yeah, it's the Luminescent Grasp. Uh, he would like to go and remove the nameplate. Sure. You Once know, this no. is done, he would turn, to Thank the, you. turn back to uh, Theodore and say, well, uh, we have everything. Some of it requires decrypting back on uh, our ship, but we're mostly done here, I suppose. Um, I would like um, to check the captain's quarters. Yeah. If anyone um, wants to follow. I'm with you. First off, uh, Fedor's just going to have a look around, see if there's anything signal on it. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I, if anything. Um, I wouldn't say there's necessarily anything worth something in, like, shall I say, on the market or on the bridge. Uh, there's few, like, sentimental, I suppose, more sentimental ornaments. Uh, like, the captain's chair has a couple of engravings. I'm sure you could uh, well, you, you could roughly slice them off from this and have them more refined and uh, attached to your own captain's chair. Uh, for example, there's a particularly, uh, what's it? It's a Electrum, isn't it? It's sort of like particularly shiny, valuable uh, metal. There's like a full like Electrum uh, family sigil on the back of the seat, uh, which may be a bit awkward to carry out, but you know. As, as the captain indicates an interest in the chair. Mouse kind of saunders saunder over it and says, you, you, you want to take that with us? You can certainly take the back of the yes. chair, let's put it that way. Well, I, I would like Mouse to try and rip the whole thing out. Okay. Um, I'll take a strength test at minus 30. Okay. Come on, Mouse. I wasted my oh. well. Oh. Re roll. This is what I've been saving my fake points for. Important things like this. <laughs> oh! oh. So Theodore told him to do it well, didn't he? He did. I'm sure I heard it, first. Oh, did he? Uh, okay. I'm sure I heard it as well. Did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I heard it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, every, I know everybody heard it. <laughs> nice. So Mouse pulls the chair uh, like entirely out. Uh, you know, the bottom's a bit fucked up. It's going to need a little bit of refurbishing, but it is the chair. It, this, this, this is the ancestral chair that all uh, Constantine buttocks have sat on. Well, all, 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 all four of them sat on. Yes, all, all, all four buttocks have sat on originally. But, yeah. And there's a certain ship that might be in need of a captain's chair. A nice big ship. The last, the last one, the chair was tainted. A it true, so it does need a new so, chair, doesn't it? Yeah, it does indeed. Hmm. 
Cool. Um, Theodore makes a mental note to acquire more rattling chefs. <laughs> cool. Uh, so I believe there's a couple of people going to the captain's quarters? Yes. Um, yep. Before I go in, could I make a Sinitians roll? Yeah, go ahead. Just to see if I... Um, Flat. Sense anything? Do know. I mean, it's... It's the first time it's let me down. But oh well. Eh, nothing particular. Uh, the whole place is a bit fucky. So, mm. it... Let's put it this way. It's, it's no more fucky than it's been anywhere along al- along the walk up here. How about that? Go- okay. I would like to just nudge um, the Seneschal and say we should let the captain go through first. Yep. Um, I'm an eye out to see if he's in. Oh, is it? It's door locked. Security door. Yes. Bio locked uh, as well. Bio locked. It's a rather crude. I wouldn't quite say archaeotech, but it's, it's slightly more crude, and it literally requires a blood sample. Well, um, has anybody got a knife? That oh, actually, no. I can use my I can... uh, power I, sword. Or, I've, I can use my power sword without turning it on. I would imagine you just got to put your finger in it. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Um. I would give okay. my left hand. Okay. Uh, there's a brief sort of like pause as the system sort of like appears to freeze a little bit because it hasn't been activated in a very long time. Like there's a distinct level of like you you you's actually quite clear to me able to tell that nobody, like literally nobody, has been down here uh, for the entire time. And eventually the door, like, hisses and judders open, and reveals the captain's quarters. I mean, uh, you know, d- dealing with what I, you know, what, what I have useful, obviously. So yeah, it's, it's actually fairly ravish, really, fairly, uh, sort of, ravishingly, like, decked out. Uh, there's been some sort of, like, wooden decking, put it, like, out of some very exotic uh, wood of some sort, uh, covering the floor. Oh, You've wood. got... Yeah. Like actual wood, yes. Uh, on a ship, nonetheless. Uh, I gotta say, yeah. Uh, some the rugs made out of some sort of weird, uh, I don't know, like xeno fur that you've never seen before, and it appears to be all woven in. And the seats are essentially moth-eaten at this point, and like are no good to anybody. Uh, similar sort of story with the bed. There's obviously the. Sort of, captain's personal terminal and whatnot and uh the room in the right was supposed to have a door on it whoops there we go it's got a door on it <clears throat> it was there the whole time it was there the yeah, whole time that... and uh, uh theater you recognize that to be a personal armory um with another okay. bio lock of course uh i would Try my hand at that. Yeah. Uh, once again, there's another beep and a hiss, and it opens. Uh, revealing uh, what looks to be a bit like a cryopod, but is in fact uh, a a docking station for some power armor. Oh. This is the power armor in it? Oh, yes. And there's like a, Ooh. and there's a. You said no. <laughs> so, <laughs> imagine I said no. <laughs> I mean, I was expecting you to say no. No, well, that's why I put the de- uh, note, note, note the detail earlier of he didn't expect to come back. Yep. So he did come back. No, he didn't expect to come back, so he left his armor here. He didn't want it. He's a rogue trade. Remember, he wouldn't want to get it scratched. <laughs> That's funny. For sure rogue traders. <sighs> so uh, within that is some archaeotech light par armor with lots of toys on it, uh, and uh, a cape made up of some sort of again a really weird uh, sort of xeno mesh of some sort uh, that appears light. I mean, uh, what was it? like sort of I don't know Superman cape. It's it's it, it doesn't look like it's ever been it's not like it, there's not a thread out of place on it. 
Theodore is giddy. Got any like family crest symbols, anything on it? Oh yes, it is. De- <laughs> it is decked out in uh, like Constantine heraldry. Oh, uh, do we? Uh, would we need to take? Docking station, or can I just try it on here? Uh, no, stuff like that's fair. Uh, a, I mean, d- b- how much of a task like, is that? Basic par armor no design knowledge. hasn't like changed at all. So, uh, Galvia will be able to help with if you're going to put it on there. Uh, yeah, I mean, you have a- you have atmosphere. The uh, bridge is sorted, and yeah, it'll, t- it'll take a little bit of time, but you could try it on. You could put it on. Roughly, I mean, how long would it take, Phil? Um, not sure, but those things are not, oh, like, half an hour, an hour? If it's about half an hour, with me assisting, half an hour? I'm just thinking of the time till the ship jumps, that's all. I th- I think you've got time to get it on. Okay, um, Galvia will step up to you, um, because he's obviously got power armor on, so I'll assist you in how to get it on, if you wish. A little constant time. Of course. Um, is there anybody else that's a similar sort of build to me? What do you mean? Well, I don't want to get. I don't want to lose my current set of uh, being Saint Blessed and all. Oh yeah. Well, we can carry that back with us, and you know, think yeah. about it when we're out. Yeah, there. yeah. I'm uh, for for simplicity's sake. I'm happy to say you can carry that sort of stuff out. Um, yeah. can I access the captain's personal terminal? No, again, I locked. Ah. Can I take it with me? Uh, no, it, it is built in. That's just the sure, model I had available. It's like standard, like 40k terminal sort of shape. Hmm. But there's like, um, like a kid that has woke up on Christmas morning, run downstairs, gone to open his presents, and then parents have told him to go brush his teeth. Like, <laughs> gah! Runs through, slams his hand onto the bio lock, unlocks the terminal, and runs back. <laughs> I, was, I was honestly just think, I was just honestly thinking about <laughs> just like taking a prick of blood from your finger and then like putting it on myself. Too late. Like just dropping it on, but okay. Okay. Indeci- indecision costs time. Time that so, I don't have armor. Garvia will help him take his armor off, Phil. Okay. And then, with reverence, once obviously the captain has given him the okay, he'll slowly and with reverence remove each piece and start placing it how he did his own, how he does his own armor. Yeah. And then he'll hand him the helmet, advising not to put it on just yet. Um, And then he'll step around the back and activate the power supply. Excellent. So, uh, when the power supply is turned on, uh, the entire surface of the armor uh, starts literally coming to life uh, with uh, sort of big flashes of uh, colors, uh, making shapes and images uh, as if sort of testing and getting and uh, powering up again. Uh, this is Lumen Heraldry. Uh, the armor seems to be shifting through uh, colors sort of similar to the con- you know the Constantine colors, as it were. So it's like shifting uh, through black and gold. Mostly, and uh, yeah, it's 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 pretty fucking fancy. Uh, the ma- the material it's made of is also it's it's lathe wrought, so it's a little bit lighter than normal uh, power armor, and uh, like it's, it's just better. Uh, so just for reference, uh, lathe wrought metals are. Made in the lathe worlds, which have which are high gravity worlds. Uh, I think it's like roughly three times normal Earth gravity. So, sort of doing well, metallurgy in those gives you some rather nice results. So yeah, uh, it weighs half the amount of normal, half the amount normal normally, and increases the AP by one. It's obviously best craftsmanship. And uh, the pen value of oh wow, the pen value of any attack made against a character wearing a suit of lathe wrought armor is halved, rounding up. 
So oh, basically, okay. if, if you get hit with a pen 10 weapon, it's only pen 5. Nice. Yep. And uh, best of all for you, uh, in the gauntlets, in each of them, is, uh, is an integrated storm boulder. Now is the time when you fall over and pass out. No, this is you say, thank you, Phil. Is, is, is that illegal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The crotch seems quite tight. <laughs> Getting tighter. <laughs> Uh, of course, it's standard 48 hours before the power pack needs replaced, but uh, yeah, obviously you don't uh, need. Okay. You also don't need the helmet if you want to be sh if you want to show off a lot. But obviously, with the helmet on, it's it's fully void sailed. Has built in auspex uh, and for advisor. Garvey would uh, quickly explain to him that whenever he's sat in the captain's chair or whenever he's sat in a seat on the shuttle to plug it in to extend the life of it. A little bit. So yeah, um, I'll give you the stats for that in a second, because uh, we're going to call a session there after I get our three gentlemen on the bridge to do awareness rolls for me at a minus 20. Knew it. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to use my last re-roll for that. I have a feeling now is not the best time to be stood next to one of those vents. I, uh, I also would have, while all that was going on, I'd have moved back into... Would you have? Yes! When you haven't heard anything? When For I was... fuck's sake. I, I moved <laughs> over to pull oh. the chair out. Oh. Okay. Oh, was that minus 20? Uh, it's alright, it's alright. Uh, Jericho's going to do a reroll. Last roll of the night. What? Or was it minus 30? What, do you want to re-roll that? Oh, uh, awareness minus 20? Oh, minus 20, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah I'm using my last re-roll, because I might as well. <laughs> no. <laughs> Miles is just idly dreaming about crab cakes. Crab puffs. I'm going to get an awareness minus 20 from Jericho's. I'm in the captain's course, but okay. Oh, sorry, no, for, uh, sorry, my bad. From Bigby. Bigby, my bad. Uh. Connor, all sleep on us. Yeah. I think, I think that's a yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, for, same time, sorry for uh, And let me roll that. Nope, cool. Okay. Uh, what XP are we on at the minute? That's um five one five six. Fifty nine, aren't we? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, cool. In that case, fuck five hundred XP tonight. Uh, I, I, I took some lump lumps out of you, so I think that's worth uh worth an, worth an extra hundred XP. Oh, are we rank five now? I think so. Uh, I'll soon check. Rank five is seventeen hundred. Oh. Oh, okay. 70,000, yeah. Okay, cool. And streaming. Crap. Sorry, 